this is Drew Baird from Moon Audio, and as promised, we're back here to talk about how to rip your CDs on your AK player. So that question was posed on Tech Tuesday, and here it is Thursday, so we're going to walk through it with you, and we're going to get nice and close on the Astle and Kern player. So the first process, uh, part of the process you're going to do is the little A symbol up here is the settings menu. So we're going to click on settings. We're going to go all the way to the bottom and click on settings again. This will bring up a whole host of things that you can do on the Astell and Current Player. We are most concerned with CD Ripper. When I click on CD Ripper, we can now choose here what kind of ripping format we want, what kind of ripping speed, whether we want to do error correction, etc. So that's the first thing I want to choose. And there is no right or wrong into what choosing here. I like to do everything in WAVE with WAVE formats. The uh, images are not tagged in the metadata on the file. So if you want to, I copy all albums. I don't just do it based on a track. If you want to do just track specific and you need to have the album art tagged to the track, then I would choose FLAC. On ripping speed, it doesn't really matter. I tend to not use fast because in my mindset, I think it's going to make a mistake if we're doing it really fast. And I always turn on error correction. But I'm not going to do, I'm not going to change anything here for now. So then once that's done, you can exit out of the settings menu. And then I'm gonna to go to the swipe down settings menu. Now we'll see over here, it says external USB. Once you've got your CD Ripper connected to the Astle and Kern, it's gonna it's going to darken in color, this gray format on the circle. You're gonna see the CD Ripper there. Let's say you connect it to your computer, it's gonna say a different thing. You know, each time you connect your Astle and Kern player, something is gonna say a, a, a different meaning here. And in this case, we're doing the CD Ripper. So that's really important. As you'll also notice is the Wi-Fi is highlighted and it's very important to make sure that you've got your unit connected to Wi-Fi because the AK player, once you start ripping, is gonna to wanna to go out to Grace Notes and it wants to find the metadata files for your album and the album artwork, et cetera. So this is very important to have that Wi-Fi connected. Um, now, I've, now I've got a CD in, I'm gonna push the CD in as soon as the CD goes in, we're going to have to wait a second. You're going to see down here a message pop up. Waiting, waiting. There we go. CD Ripper, please select the desired function. So now we're going to check on that box right there. Now here you can choose whether you want to use the CD Ripper as a player. So you can just play that CD or you can check on what we're going to do, CD Ripping. And if I want it to always default to CD ripping, you can check this box that says always turn to the selected function. And that way you don't have to go through this screen every time. It's going to automatically go to the ripping function. So I'm going to now hit OK. And now at this point, we're going to get a message. Here we are. We're looking at Grace Notes and we're looking for the metadata for this uh, uh, ripping function. So it takes a couple of seconds. While that's happening, one important thing to, to, to note about the CD Ripper, it is very important that you use a USB charger that has at least two amps and five volts. If it doesn't have this higher amperage rating, then once you try to CD rip at this point, the CD Ripper is just gonna stop. It's just gonna die. It just doesn't have enough power. It's gotta be at least two amps. So here we are, it's ripping. And now you can actually go between, it's gonna show how long it's gonna take the album to rip, but you can also click on track and see it as it's ripping just a single track, okay? So we're not gonna, we're not gonna let it rip all of these different things at this point. I'm gonna just hit cancel so I can go to, go and show another function. Yes, I wanna cancel. So now after your CD's been ripped, and I've gotta wait for this to finish for a second here, you can go back to your settings here. I will go to folder. I will click on internal storage. Now there's a folder called um, downloaded. This is not where the ripping goes. This is where all of your files for um, offline content will go for like title or code buzz. Now, normally you'll get a folder that may not have been there before until you've ripped your first CD and it's called ripping. So this is where it's gonna put that album. And once you go to that, you know, we don't see anything here. Once you go to that folder, you will see all the tracks here. Now, once you see a bunch of tracks here, you can actually click on this box right here 
and unfortunately I don't have one ripped here, but you can click on this box here and you can check tracks and delete them. You can move tracks. So I may want to, after this Bags Groove CD has been ripped, I'll go back. I'm gonna wanna move either my music to the music folder, as you'll see all of the, the, the songs that we've uh, put on the player thus far, or I may wanna move it to an SD card that's on here, or I may wanna delete it. So there's lots of different functionality you can do once you've ripped the CD. You don't have to keep the entire CD. You can delete some of the tracks. Uh, this is sort of where the flack comes into play if you're only downloading one track and, and you want the album art to be tagged to just that one file, you can do that. Or if you do wave, you gotta make sure you keep the album art in there. But it's that simple. Um, we're gonna do a much more comprehensive and close-up look uh, with our camera next week where we're gonna show every single detail, a bunch of CDs ripped. We're gonna show you how to manipulate and change, uh, uh, take, take songs off of the, off the player, et cetera. We'll get into more of the, the, uh, the bits and the nuts. And on our website right now, we've got a blog on CD ripping and we've got this step-by-step -step process on there. Um, so hopefully this has helped. Uh, I know the AK CD Ripper manual is very vague and this has been a very popular question for years. Um, and so we finally, I don't know why we haven't done a video until now, but here it is. Hopefully we help, helped you and stay tuned for next Tech Tuesday for another discussion on some kind of complicated topic.